I'm Joseph. It is a glorious morning again in central Portugal, Fundao, and I'm just about to let my sheep out. Come, mids. So hopefully get them into this field down here. And I was thinking maybe today, I've got a basket, let's go do some foraging. Come on, girls. Right, spring is a fantastic time to go foraging and uh, I'm not entirely sure what we're, what we're looking for today. Maybe some watercress or, or some wild garlic. Um, but whatever we end up finding, it is always a good idea to remember not to forage in livestock pastures. Good girl, come on, Lily. Good girl. Because cattle and sheep can pass on liver flukes. So, uh, so it's always a good idea to, to know wherever you're foraging that it is a clean place to do so. And I've just seen our first find of the day. Wild asparagus. There we go. Beautiful. So that is a really good start. We've got a couple of little sprigs of wild asparagus. So I am going to guess there's probably some more around here somewhere. I think I found that one more, more luck than judgment though. Let's keep having a look. I've just seen some pennywort as well. So some nice pennywort here. Have those, you can eat those raw. Have those in a salad or on top of a soup or something. So our little foraging basket is starting to starting to not look quite so pitiful. <laughs> these here. You can eat the flowers on these raw. They are beautiful. Very nice. And yeah, hopefully we'll be able to find a few more sprigs of wild asparagus because I don't think two is going to make much of a meal. So we'll have a little look for some more of those. Just found one. There we go. Let me see if I can get that. Ooh. Beautiful. As a foodie, uh, there's nothing I like more than a bit of free food from the farm. So. I'm going to continue looking for some more of that wild asparagus. Just found some more. And yeah, I'm not I'm not sure my mind's racing now how I'm going to cook it. I'm I'm thinking maybe uh maybe some scrambled eggs or 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 maybe uh some nice sourdough toast with with a poached egg and some wild asparagus. That sounds that sounds probably uh like a good option. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so we've got enough wild asparagus and a few pennywort for lunch there. So yeah, let's go and uh, let's go and make some lunch. Oh, and just quickly, look at this, uh, look at this plum tree here. You can see all the little, all the little tiny plums on there. Not sure if you can make them out through the arguing dogs. All of the little plums on there. Not all of them will take, some will fall. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully a few plums. Okay, so we've got everything set up here for lunch. We've got that wild asparagus from earlier. I've picked up some quail's eggs from the coop outside. We've got some cherry tomatoes, some of our own olive oil here. I've pulled some of the little leaves off of the asparagus stems there. Uh, we've got some garlic. And I thought for lunch we could do a sourdough toast, poached quail's eggs, fry up the asparagus with the garlic and some butter. And yeah. That sounds pretty good to me. The water's on the boil and uh, let's get going. Mm -hmm. 
So to open the quail's eggs, I use a knife, pop it in there. You can crack the yolk like that, but hopefully we didn't. Open her up, and there we go. Done perfectly. Pop them straight into the boiling water. And then we turn the heat down to a low heat. One minute. Okay, so I am looking forward to this. This is my, going to be my very first uh, wild asparagus of the year. So, without further ado, let's tuck in. Ah, but before I do, a good slosh of balsamic vinegar. Okay, it's springtime and we are going to cut the grass in the cherry orchard. Yeah, it's spring, there's rain, there's sun, the grasses are growing like mad. And uh, yeah, we've strimmed this morning. You can see my brother-in-law Lloyd has been going up and down the run strimming, but he's left the middles for me on the compact tractor. Got a little, little mini Yanmar 15 horsepower compact tractor with a flail on the back to cut the grass. So he's left these big sections here for me to go along and cut. And we are cutting, hey girls, we are cutting because it's getting ready for cherry picking season. So yeah, let's do it.
So as you can see here, we've let the grasses grow quite long. I can see the, uh, the little lambs on the other side of the fence there. <laughs> hey lambs! Hey lambs! Ah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, as you can see, we leave the, the grasses quite long here while the, while the cherry trees are in blossom. But then once the blossom falls, we, uh, we come through and we cut. We don't use any, uh, any nasty chemicals like Roundup or anything like that. We, uh, yeah, we, we choose to cut the grass. It's a little bit more work, but you know, it stays uh, a bit more friendly to the environment. But the reason, the reason we keep these grasses long through the early springtime when the blossom hasn't quite come out yet is because of all of these wildflowers. You can see there's, there's a bee just there. Oh, flew up, flew off. But yeah, so we try and keep the, um, the grasses nice and long, allow the bees to, to have, their, have their food in early spring, and then the cherry blossom comes out, and then, you know, obviously there's less bees in the grasses. Once the cherry blossom starts to fall, we come through and we cut the grasses. So yeah, that's just the way, just the way that we like to do it. <laughs> hey little lambs, sitting under the fig tree. <laughs> There's a nice little fig there. It's a gorgeous morning and uh, I've come to my, my friend's farm, Peter and Diane, and uh, me and Lloyd, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of fencing for them and, and yeah, we'll see how that goes. So we've, uh, we've just finished for lunch and Peter's gave me, a, gave me a nice beer. So we're gonna have that and then we're gonna tuck into a barbecue. See you after lunchtime. <laughs> Right, yeah, we've just come back from lunch. We uh, we had a beautiful barbecue. Uh, Peter and Diane they they done us some uh, some steak rolls. That was really really nice of them, and uh, and of course a couple of beers as well. And uh, yeah, now we're just going to go crack back into the work. So we're we're just about to staple these these couple of ones in here. And so far we've done about 75 meters, I guess, from the gate this morning all the way down there down here and then hopefully this afternoon we can get uh, another 75 meters or so done and and yeah jobs are good look at their beautiful farm absolutely stunning so this fence in here this is gonna gonna segregate the uh, the sheep pastures they've got they've got <laughs> so many olive trees look at all of these olive trees you can see all the little olives on there I think you can probably make them out all them little olives <laughs> and yeah perfect land for uh for the sheep to to graze down here yeah We have finished for the day and uh, yeah we did quite a bit we did about uh, about 100 meters I think so it was about what I was expecting to do so I'm not sure if you can see over my shoulder there we've got all the way down down to the well I'm not sure or nearly down to the well which is down there down the next terrace and yeah all the way here all the way up to the gate and now we're just going back to the car Peter said he's going to buy us a beer on the way home, so <laughs> looking forward to that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Rightio, we're back on the job. It's the next morning. It's, uh, it's a bit of a grey morning today. And um, yeah, we're hoping that we can, uh, we can get a fair amount of this done um, before lunchtime because uh, the weather app on the phone, it's saying that from lunchtime onwards, it's going to be a little bit stormy, a little bit grey, a bit drizzly. We'll have to, um, we'll have to see. It might, might stop play on the fence and I'm not sure, but, but yeah, as you can see, we've already done, already done a fair bit. Down there, there's Lloyd, my brother-in-law and Diane, our good friend. They're uh, <laughs> they're just sorting out the uh, <laughs> they're waving <laughs> they're sorting out the uh, the brambles down there. There's a little tiny patch of brambles next to the well, so we're going to then string line up and continue the fencing down there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So we've, uh, we've nearly finished for the day. We've done uh, about another 100 meters. Um, yeah, you yeah, know, we have done another 100 meters because we had six rolls of 50 meter fencing and we've, we've got two left. So, and we're just about to finish on, on the third roll over here, uh, the fourth roll over here. So yeah, 200 meters done. And uh, I thought I'd just show you this quick little tip what I picked up. If you're doing this fencing and you can't get it straight like, uh, like this one, for example, is a little bit wobbly, or a little bit wavy. So you get your, um, like I've done there, get your your cutters, and you just give it a little a little crimp, and it tightens tightens all the rest of the uh, all the rest of the fence up there. And that little crimp, you can't notice that really when you when you're looking at, at a big section of fencing. So yeah, it's a handy, handy little tip for anyone doing some sheep fencing. <laughs> and we've finished just in time. We've just finished the job and the heavens have opened. So <laughs> job done. <laughs> now we're going back home. We're going to have another beer. Yeah. <laughs> We finished all the fencing at, at Peter and Diane's farm. Now, uh, now the sun's come out a little bit this afternoon. We're going to uh, going to go up and check the um, the well that we've uh, that we've just uncovered. Uh, been doing quite good uh, getting all the brambles out and all of the earth. A lot of earth has fell in over the years. It's been it's been abandoned for for quite a long time. But um, but yeah, so I've got some string. And a, and a nice heavy rock and we're gonna gonna see if we can find out how deep it is <laughs> i'm reckoning it's gonna be i don't know five to ten meters deep something like that but, but yeah right so we just got up to the well we've got a um a little temporary pallet gateway there for now because uh the sheep can go in here and there's no door on there at the minute so uh the last thing we want the sheep to do is is run down these stairs and, and fall into the well so so we better create a door for that, I think. <laughs> Here's the stairs going down. These were these were completely filled in with earth up to up to like here, where sheep over the years have just knocked earth in in the hole. And then got this this doorway here. I think we'll probably probably stick a door on here. I reckon. And then look how 
tall it is. I'm I'm six foot two, so <laughs> that gives you a bit of an idea on the on the height there. <laughs> Got our tools down in there. And now we're just going to clear the rest of it out. Got to clear these brambles that have grown from the top. And then yeah, so this this is I, I don't know. I guess that I'm going to measure it today, but I guess this is a 10 foot drop from the ground levels about here, a little wall, and then all the way down to the water there. It's got to be 10 foot. This is there's a couple of little rungs of stairs there, and then concrete flooring in here, and the water. And also, I'm going to measure with that rock. I'm going to measure and see how how far down the actual well goes. I don't know if you can hear the echo in here. Wow. <laughs> This is awesome. And that little that little hole there is the drainage from the top of the stairs there when it rains. Water runs straight through there. Yeah. And then I'm not sure what we're gonna do. We're gonna probably use this for, for watering the pigs, I think, but I'm not sure how we're gonna do it. I don't know if we if we get a pump in there or oh, I, I like rustic things, so I'll probably I'll probably do it by hand with a bucket. I think that's nice. <laughs> So we don't 100% trust these. They've been there for, for for longer than I've been alive, I think. So so they could have rusted away. So we're not going to stand on these just yet. We're going to use the ladder instead. I think it's okay, but I only trust it. Yeah. yeah. But Dad, what was it? What was it you were saying? You were saying you're going to put some. We'll put some steps in and incorporate them inside the, the steps. Okay. Yeah, that will look nice. Nice granite steps. Though. Yeah, be a bit safer as well, I think. <laughs> Look at that, Dad. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Nuts, aren't it? That'll work kind of out. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but worth it. Just don't take a step backwards, whatever you do. You're going in that, in that well. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but the water is jolly clear. You can see down, but yeah, I'm going to get that rock in there and see how deep that is. But for now, we're going to clear out some of these brambles. Yeah. Right, we're going to clear this now. We'll see you when we're finished. proper daylight again <laughs> right yeah I'll pop that in the wheelbarrow and we'll go down for some more hey dad up here Give, a, give YouTube a wave. <laughs> Still got a fair bit to take out there. <laughs> it's coming. We're just cutting there and I just noticed, I'm not sure if we'll be able to make it out on the screen there. Where am I looking? I think just there. Big old toad sitting in the water. He must uh, must spend his whole life in there. There's no, there's no way for him to get out. <laughs> Big old toad. Radio. So we're now going to take the stuff in the wheelbarrow down to uh, down to the fire. So yeah, see you later, Mr. Toad. <laughs> Who's Bitsy? Hey, Mitz, what are you doing? I didn't know you were here. You good girl. You come with us? Come on. Hey girls. Nothing exciting, only twigs.
just filming now to see how how deep the well is. <laughs> it's going a uh, kind of fair way. Oh, I think I'm pinching the string. Sorry. Still going? Over there. You hit the bottom, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. How far do you reckon that was just by hand? Fair way. Fair way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll have a look now. Yeah. Right. From there. Okay. Old Toadie's watching us in the corner. There he is. He's just behind just behind your leg. Where, where's my finger? There he is, just there. The most entertainment he's had in years. <laughs> right oh. Let's go measure. Point five meters. Seven and a half meters deep. Lovely. Prox. Enough water there then. But we'll get the tape measure and we'll measure it out exactly. Yeah, yeah. 